things feel very different? I think everybody has a different spirit. I think uh, everybody uh, being back here is very excited to be here. You know, just being around everybody, it's, uh, you know, it feels good. Trevor, how difficult was that season to go through with what seemed to be turmoil, turbulence? Uh, I think uh, just last season, was it was just frustrating for everybody. Um, Know, because we just couldn't figure it out together. And I think that was the biggest key, uh, us not being able to figure it out together was the most frustrating part. Do you ever feel like you were getting close to figuring it out at some point and then you just take a step back? Oh, man. Um, at, some point, at some point of the season, it felt like we were taking steps in the right direction. But um, with the season like we had last year, it was, I mean, I don't even know how to explain it. It was just, just so... Weird, weird, weird year. So how do you approach this year so that we don't have that kind of weirdness again? <laughs> um, I just think that I, I feel like everybody's, every, um, so far since, you know, the summer, since uh, our new signing, since you know, we've been able to come together and James has put together the little mini camps over the, over the summer, uh, the vibe has just been totally different. Everybody's excited um, to show what they've worked on, excited just to be around each other. You know, we've been spending a lot of time off the court, um, getting to know each other, and you know, those things right there, I think, go a long way, and um, you know, we're ready for tomorrow. What, what, does you, what does it mean to you as a, as a group to have James take that next step as a leader? Right, I think that, um, I think it's very important. I think it's important for for him most especially. Uh, the fact that he knows that he has his guys here and guys that you know that are on his team or rather the ones run through walls for him, I think that does nothing but help his confidence and give him confidence in his teammates as well. Do you think he's gonna be more of a verbal leader this year or more of a lead by example? I think he's gonna be more uh, of a better leader. He's been working on being a leader since you know, he's gotten to Houston. Uh, He's still a young player, so you know, he's going to have his growing pains. But um, there's no one right way to lead. Everybody has their own way to lead, and he's he's figuring himself out. With all the stuff that you guys did in the offseason and camps and all that stuff, do you feel like there's maybe a little bit better chemistry heading into the year than maybe it would be in the past? Yeah, I think we're we're uh, we're becoming more familiar with each other. Um, with uh, trying to implement the new system that we're running offensively and defensively. I think uh, there's an excitement, there's a level of trust that we've already started and we haven't even started training camp. So um, I think uh, what we did over the summer was good. Trevor, you've, you've won championships and you've been on multiple teams and you've been in this league for a long time. Do you enter a season with enthusiasm or how would you gauge the way you feel about yeah, it? Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. You know, this is uh, one of those seasons where not just here, like, oh man, we're getting ready to start another long journey. It's one of those seasons where you're excited about getting started instead of you know, worrying about how long it's going to be. So, um, to answer your question, I'm very, very excited about this upcoming year. What is it about this particular group, this particular season, leaves you in that position of being excited? I just think that it's it's just a, for me personally, it's a fresh, it's, it's like a fresh start. Um, Coach is one of the coaches that I've always wanted to you know, play for throughout my career. Never got an opportunity until now. And um, you know, just speaking to James throughout the summer, knowing how much he's been working, him knowing how much that I've been working to uh, to get better. Um, it, it's it's fun. You know, I've, I had the opportunity to play with with uh, Eric Gordon a little bit in uh, in New Orleans when I was in New Orleans. And, him coming aboard is it's uh, you know I'm excited about that because he's an unbelievable player. Um, he's had his trouble with, uh, with health before, but you know with our training staff here and you know his work ethic, I, I think that he's going to be great and do great for this team. Trevor, you played for a lot of coaches, yeah. <laughs> a lot of systems. What specifically about this system fits your game? Well, I think it's just like more so reads. It's not like this is what we're doing, and this is the only way that we're doing it. 
it's more so your feel of the game. You know, it's no particular uh, first, second, third, fourth option. It's just more so reading the offense and, and uh, you know, taking what the defense gives you. Have you guys as a group talked about the social unrest, how to handle the national anthem? I'm sorry? Have you guys as a group talked about the national anthem and how you might handle that? And no, we have not. You think you will at some point? or? Well, I, I know that we all see what's going on, um, and obviously nobody likes what's going on. But again, we don't know all the particulars of all the details in every single case. So um, I don't know, but that's, that's this is it's just a tough situation for everybody. Trevor, yesterday, Texas Pro Bowl left tackle Dwayne Brown during the national anthem. He didn't kneel. He put his fist in the air. He said it was to bring about awareness for what's happening to unarmed black men who are being killed. Uh, what, what, what are your thoughts about that way of, of um, making a statement, if you will? Uh, I think that if that's you know the way he chooses to to make a difference, you know, it's great. You know, as long as you're making a difference and trying to make a difference, um, that's pretty much my thoughts on that. You mentioned uh, Eric with adding as a grind and an A that, that experience, guys who have been through multiple right. teams, different looks and all that. Does that kind of add to the excitement that you're kind of feeling right now with Nene? Absolutely, because I I played with Nene as well, and Nene is an unbelievable talent at the big position. You know, he can pass the ball really well. He's a physical player. Um, he can rebound the ball well. Um, so he's a, and he's also a very very smart basketball player. And him being here and being around everybody, uh, he's going to make a huge difference for us in the style of play that we do play. And Ryan has a burner. Like, when I'm talking about he can shoot the ball, he shoots the ball. Like, unbelievable. He's, he can really shoot the ball. So just him being here, and he's going to get, he's going to make it easier for everybody. All these guys are going to make it easier for everybody because they all can shoot very well. James is an unbelievable playmaker. Uh, uh, Eric's a playmaker. Nene can pass the ball, so it's going to be it's, it's a lot of options. Trevor, what about um, Nene's personality, his demeanor? What's that? What's that? What's that like in the locker room? Uh, well, Nene's pretty quiet in the locker room. You know, he's he's very friendly. Uh, he's outgoing, but he, he's more so of a quiet individual. He likes to play FIFA, which everybody here likes to play. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I think that's just going to you know, add to our team camaraderie and having a, a good time together. We've Trevor, all seen... You, talk about, um, you, you talked about James and his leadership role, yeah. how he's grown. You've been around the league for a bit. Do you feel kind of like assuming some of that leadership responsibility? And if so, how do you, how do you handle that? Uh, well, I, you know, everybody has their own way of, of leading. I'm more of a by example type of person. Um, if people ask me things, I'm you know, more than willing to give my opinion or, or things like that. But at this point in time, James Harden is the leader of this team. You know, and um, everybody, the, what did they say? The best way uh, to lead is you know, listening or whatever they say, <laughs> however they say it. So he, you know, he's been doing a great job of taking in things and, and so, you know, I'm, I'm excited about just letting James do his thing and wherever he needs me to help, I'm willing to do that. You, you just remember uh, how to roll the ball out this year's team against last year's squad, which one wins and why? Um, well, I would say this team is going to win. And all, I say that because it's just a different uh, – different vibe, it's a different system, it's a different everything, and um, that's the reason why. You, you, just touched on James, you just touched on James's playmaking. Well, adding shooters mm -hmm. like Eric and Ryan, what do you think that does in terms of its ceiling from not only just assists but getting other guys more actively involved in that, in that scoring offense? Yeah, I, I think that um, it just makes it hard for defenses to, to stop everything. You know, when you have so many shooters around, guys that can make plays, it makes it hard for them just to lock in on one different one person. You, know, you have to guard everybody. And when you have to guard everybody, that makes your team a lot more dangerous. You, 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 you use the word vibe. It's a different vibe. It's a, it's a fresh spark. You're excited. 
A year ago, when you came here, though, you're coming off a team that's in the Western Conference Finals. Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't that excitement, that vibe, have been there? I don't know. I have no clue. But it wasn't. It wasn't. This is a total different feel. And you know, that's my opinion. <coughs> I haven't really asked anybody else, but you know, that's just from, from what I see. Thank you. Thanks, Thank Trevor. You. And Julie. <laughs> 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 you don't play fantasy so far. <laughs> <laughs>